Hello? We're hearing uh, some talking on the stream.
Ah, there we go. You see the yeah, yeah. Usu, Linda the way maganag. Ke kwade di na uli shalak nai. Unakut, o ki tansi. We are happy to welcome you from from Onagami Singh, uh, Gichi, Gichi Gami, uh, the Lake Superior, and uh, we are happy to have you here, very happy. And we we want to remind you that in the world to come, there will be no technological problems like this. But from now, we have to deal with it. We're here for uh, a few hours, uh, a few hours of blessing and goodness, and we're happy to have you with us. And uh, I, I just want to say how grateful I am for the people who are uh, doing all the work behind the scenes. They. I heard them say a few things that probably aren't appropriate for gospel jamboree, but I, I was I was in the same spirit with them. And now uh, we are going to turn our hearts and our minds to prayer. So uh, I would like you to pray with me as I uh, sing one verse of the song that always began uh, what we call Ojibwe prayer meetings in, in near Onagami Singh, Vichigami, uh, and uh, which um, uh, is our form of gospel jamboree in this part of the world. Oh, we go we We're praying that God's Holy Spirit will come upon us. We're asking God to help our us. Our hearts are sometimes uh, weak and tired, but with God's help, we will be strong. We are happy to invite you to a very special place, and we ask you to now uh, 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 think of a place of worship. A place that is uh, familiar to you, but imagine the way it will look in the world to come. And in a beautiful place, all of a sudden, a river begins to flow. And that river begins to flow, and wherever it flows, the things that are wrong are put right. And the hearts that are, are hard are made soft, and the hearts that are broken are mended. And the earth, which has suffered so long from the foolishness of human beings, is made over again. We want you to understand this vision of Ezekiel in Ezekiel 47, the He River. He, he, saw in a vision for God that there would come a time when people would gather and worship and where it happened the spirit of the of the world to come would suddenly inspire their minds and hearts and from that place of worship 
would flow a river that would touch people's lives and hearts in spectacular ways. This is a gospel jamboree, a, a form of worship that came from uh, suffering indigenous people who were forbidden to use their ways of worship and they brought together their ways and their ways of thinking with this Christian uh, expression of hymn singing. We ask you to enter in with us as much as you possibly can. Uh, let the clock go away. We, we'll make sure that we end on time. Uh, let your heart enter into the presence and power of God. This is a place where miracles can happen. This is a place when our minds and hearts can be touched. And we are very uh, happy to have some guides with us tonight. Um, we're very happy to have with us a big so known as Larry and our, our the, the, the sweetheart of indigenous ministry, Shiva McKay. There she is. Both of them, I hope you can see them. Uh, why don't you say hello, folks? Shiva and, and Larry. <laughs> say hello. Can they hear you? Watch it. Yeah. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Can't you? And Shiva, say hello. Oh, maybe Shiva can't hear. Well, we'll get Shiva for sure. Um, hello. In any event. Hi. Ah, there we go. Hooray. Hello. Um, Hello, hello, Sheba. Sheba's in Kingfisher Lake. Okay. Yes, we can Good hear evening. you. Good evening. We can hear you. Good evening. <laughs> that's, that's great. And also, uh, 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 Bishop Isaiah, who's from Tataskwiak, Split Lake uh, Cree Nation, uh, he's, he is, I understand, uh, in uh, Thompson, Manitoba. So we'll be going back to them a little bit later. One other thing that we want to let you know is uh, there'll be Greetings to the gospel sermon jam. and oops, uh, we, we there'll be uh, sermons, there'll be prayers, there'll be a lot of music, and there'll be a chance for you to express uh, gospel jamboree generosity a little bit later on. We'll say more about that. Right now, we're very happy to uh, introduce our primate, uh, Archbishop Linda, who uh, uh, will open us with a song. Greetings to the Gospel Jam. I am delighted to be able to share with you in this Gospel Jamboree one of the things I love most, which is music. I love to sing, I love to play piano, and I love to proclaim God's love through song. And so I've chosen a hymn that may not be familiar to you, but it's one that takes the passage in 1 Corinthians that talks about the nature of love. You may have heard it at weddings. And it asks God that that kind of love might be ours. It's hymn number 494 in the book, in the common praise hymnal. And I hope this will inspire your heart as it does mine.
We are very grateful for uh, Archbishop Linda's uh, music and for uh, setting the stage for the rest of our time. We're right. We're very happy also uh, to uh, turn right away to a very uh, a special offering from one of our dearest friends, and that's Bishop Kiddo from Aotearoa, New Zealand, and he's bringing to us. Uh, a, a Maori greeting, and he's singing, He Has Made Me Glad. Yoda, good morning. This is Bishop Kito from the Bay of Islands. It's Friday morning, 7.30. You might be able to see the sea just behind me there. The first that comes to mind to me today, from our liturgy actually, is uh, at the beginning of the Eucharist. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will sing this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad, he has made me glad. I will rejoice, for he has made me glad. He has made me glad, he has made me glad. I will rejoice, for he has made me glad. Ka uru atu o ki o na tatou, ki runga ki o na marai. Na na ne a ho i karanga mai kia uru atu ki aia. No na te reo, no ku te hari, no ku a no te koa. Na na ne a ho i karanga mai kia uru atu ki aia. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will sing this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice, for he has made me glad. Lord God, your steadfast love never ceases, and your mercy never comes to an end. With your joy and peace in our hearts and by your grace, may we serve you in truth and in fidelity, and serve our neighbor with justice, compassion, and generosity, living our lives each day in the fullness of your mercy and love, which is new every morning. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless you all. <laughs> That's beautiful. Uh, God bless you, Bishop Kiro. Uh, kia ora. We uh, thank you very much for that offering. Now, again, uh, we are watching uh, in, in the spiritual realm with our spiritual imagination. A healing river come out of our worship tonight, uh, a healing river that will touch the hearts and minds of people 
and will touch the land. And we're very happy now to to go to a poem, Healing River, by our own uh, Jenny Doctor. We sat on a bank bench along the river. Sometimes we would sit together, no words, just smiles, gazing at free flowing water, bringing memories and peace. When I think of the river, I think of peace, think of life from the ancestors. My friend watched the river to see what it would bring, sometimes good, sometimes a way to make us stronger, but it still flowed, bringing life and goodness. It goes on to do magic. Smells of goodness fill my being. Fish living for us to bring us strength. Hard work, but good for the soul. For who we are and where we came from. Water, the life bringer surrounds our being. So much to have, so much to give. The rhythm brings life, helps us heal, helps us go on. Listen to the river song. Be still and you'll hear it. It is calling us through the tumult, singing a song of healing. We look beyond the river, dream of things we never dreamt, but dreams of ancestors help us go on. Pick up that dream, share it, Give it life. We are the people of the dreams of our ancestors. He sat in his hospital bed, looking out his window, watching the river, praying, singing in dawn light. When I see the river, I see memories, so many memories. We're very grateful to Ginny for that. And we're going to move right from there uh, into one of my favorite, favorite songs, The Unclouded Day. And uh, this is being brought to us by Norman Ashulutak, Susie Ashulutak, Lizzie Gordon, Annie Onalik, and Leticia Onalik. The Unclouded Day. Thank 
that uh, they you could see they were out on the land and they were enjoying themselves and we hope you are we hope you're praying with us at the bottom of the screen you'll see that there are all kinds of prayer requests coming through from people all across the land uh, and we're going to have a feature of this uh, gospel jam we're going to have posters of people from all over um, not just here in uh, what is known as Canada but all over uh, the world. Uh, in fact, the first posters we're going to get are from Belgium. Uh, uh, Linda Lean and Torben Delva. Uh, Torben is someone we've been praying for and prayed for the, uh, uh, the, over the past few months, who's doing better, as you will see, and also the Reverend Claire Morgan. So uh, we'll, we'll go to that poster now. We have another two greetings pictures sent in, this time from Linda Lane and Chauvin Delva from Belgium, who are outside on a walk with big smiles on their faces. They want to let everyone know that they are so grateful for all of your prayers while Chauvin was diagnosed with COVID, and they will always remember them. We also have a picture from the Reverend Claire Morgan, who is sending love to all from herself and Paul in the unceded Squamish territory. Good morning, my name is Dixie Bird and I'm from Montreal Lake Cree Nation. Well, uh, thank you, we're back. And uh, it is my uh, intense pleasure to be able to introduce the next uh, selection for you. And this is a man that I often refer to as the Cree George Jones, which is about as high a bit of praise that anybody can get in my book. So uh, this is uh, the Reverend, um, um, actually the, the Venerable, I believe, um, uh, is his title, Michael Chartrand from Easterville, Manitoba. Greetings. That didn't. So um, <laughs> we we're we're waiting for Michael. We'll get Michael back. Um, I'm going to take uh, this opportunity to um, 
say a little bit about uh, gospel-based discipleship. It is our spiritual practice, a whole community of us, to read a set of gospels every day. And we follow a certain pattern. We don't make the pattern. Uh, the pattern is set for us. And uh, the, today's gospel will be the uses. So um, we, uh, we, we would like to introduce that idea at some point in time in the uh, near future. We will uh, read that gospel for you. But we want to begin by saying the gathering prayer. Creator, we give you thanks for all you are and all you bring to us for our visit within your creation. And Jesus, you place the gospel in the center of this sacred circle through which all of creation is related. You show us the way to live a generous and compassionate life. Give us your strength to live together with respect and commitment as we grow in your spirit. For you are God now and forever. Amen. So we are recognizing the sacred circle, this place of worship from which the healing river will flow. Uh, we have recognized the presence of Christ and the gospel that that he brings. So uh, I understand that the Reverend Michael Sharkman is ready for us. Uh, we'll ask Michael to, to share with us now. The song that I'm sending out to everybody out there, it's called Diamonds in the Rain. I'm sending out to everybody out there, it's called Diamonds in the Rain.
that that's beautiful. Sure, love Michael and sure love his music. So um, we're going to read the gospel and then we're going to transition into something quite special. This is the gospel of the day. Again, um, we did not choose it. Uh, it was handed to us uh, uh, from a system of readings. So we read through the gospel in order. And this was the gospel that came up for today. And the one that we are trying to uh, hear, understand, and be faithful to. So it's from Matthew chapter 19, and it's verses 3 through 12. Some Pharisees came to him, and to test him, they asked him, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause? He answered, have you not read that the one who made them at the beginning made them male and female? And said, for this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let no one separate. They said to him, why then did Moses command us to give a certificate of dismissal and to divorce her? He said to them, It was because you were so hard-hearted that Moses allowed you to, to divorce your wives. But from the beginning it was not so. And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife except for unchastity and marries another commits adultery. His disciples said to him, if such is the case of a man with his wife, it is better not to marry. But he said to them, not everyone can accept this teaching, but only those to whom it is given. For there are eunuchs who have been so from birth, and there are eunuchs who have been made eunuchs by others, and there are eunuchs who have made themselves eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Let anyone accept this who can. Here ends the reading. We will let that gospel uh, speak to us, uh, and especially in the, in the uh, sermon. We have a very uh, important and historic moment, uh, 2010, a prophetic moment, in which uh, um, Bishop Isaiah Beardy and Elizabeth uh, shared a very important song with us and uh, at one of our gatherings. And uh, it was a song that was a, a favorite of our uh, dear friend and brother, the Right Reverend Gordon Beardy. And uh, uh, it, it is another way of describing this healing river that's flowing through our worship tonight. Uh, please stay in a worshipful uh, mind and heart and uh, in, enjoy this offering from Bishop Isaiah and and, and the Reverend Elizabeth Birdie. Birdie. After that's over, um, you'll, you won't see me for a while. We're going to go uh, right over, God willing, we're going to go right over to uh, Bishop Birdie. So God bless you and let us stay in the spirit and stay in prayer.
Ja, dann zu dem Thema, das klärt mir gar nicht auf, da ja ein Spiel Lake Manitoba. We're about uh, north uh, 56. Um, I'm in a community of Tataskia. This is my home community, Split Lake, Manitoba. Yeah, we have a community here of, uh, of about 3,000 people along the Nelson Split Lake uh, waterway. And we're about... Uh, Northeast of Thompson, if you know Thompson, Manitoba, that's where we're at, about north, northeast, about two hours from from uh, from Thompson. Anyway, I'm here with my wife Elizabeth. I think you could see her, uh, Elizabeth. You you are on camera. If you could. We about them. You're on camera. Good evening. Do uh, I I know you're listening on Wabate. I go tomorrow. I understand a, re, a replay uh, on NCI for people that have missed the gospel jamboree uh, in uh, with NCI tomorrow. Magaya how I go katine ka mo lang wal ni ka mo ni tika tayo ni niyo ni ka mo the next. Uh, uh, Kree him uh, we're going to be listening to is Nigamuin. It's a video Kree him Nigamuin. We bring you greetings from beautiful Apaskwiat Cree Nation, Treaty 5 territory, the traditional lands of the Swampy Cree people, and from Church of the Messiah. Our rector here is the Venerable Lydia Constant. And we are coming to you with a song uh, from the Psalms and Hymns with our organist Ken Lathlin and singers Harry McGilvery and Mouse Constant. Number 113 in the McKay Hymnal. Yeah. 
Yeah, hello again, uh, uh, Bishop Isaiah here. I'm with uh, the Reverend uh, Elizabeth uh, Beardy. Now uh, we're going to uh, listen to uh, uh, our Bishop, uh, the Bishop of uh, the Indigenous Spiritual Ministry of Mishamakwish, Kingfisher Lake, Ontario. I go in last month, I can do toya. I go case come with the Chimegamau, Lydia Mamakwa. I go case come with now. I go now. You must go now. Kista, I will say a prayer later. Okay. Watch it. Lydia Mamakwa. Oh, then can I stand? Me now, then I can offer the goe. March the cars on the hour to get Jesus Christ. I uh, bring greetings to all of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever is listening and whoever is watching this uh, gospel jamboree that we are having, uh, we are thankful for this ministry that is happening um, to reach people from all over, not just in Canada, not just uh, in our reserves. And I come in with a sick. He will get to the gate, he will get to the moon, Nicka moon, to give on the moon the march of Yak, Uma Canada, called with Uma Canada, a gamma king here. She again is a match tag, a quar, a cup in the manga yam chicken. And I will open with prayer before we get into the word of God. And uh, we have a youth here with us that will read the gospel in our language, and he is one of the Bible translators that uh, that is working for um, some quiz. And his name is Dominic Beardy. So uh, uh, let us pray first. Amen. Let us pray. Our Lord Jesus, we give you thanks for your many blessings. We thank you for our lives and uh, for um, this day, a beautiful day. As we look around us, we see the trees and the lakes that you have uh, created for us, Lord. We ask for your blessing and for your leading as we go into your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Reading from Matthew chapter 19, verses 3 to 12. I'll read it in my in language. <clears throat> and the Pharisee went in the one who gave an ask a gun, a week a quechi he got. In a tena na be jweb na jwe jwag nan. Ke go nebe gonche. Oki na kwe shihan, kawe na kitayam to sinawa. Nestam gaki o shihwej. Oki o shihan, na pe wan. Mina ikwe wan. Kikito, mi huwe ke onche. Nakanaj, wutataman, mina umamaman. Chuichi wach, huichi waknan. Ukoka. Nishawach, Kanishwach, Chibabeshiko, we are the work. Gawi Nawashme, Janishwach, Beshiko, we are the work. Ono Kishemanito, Kaki Nisho, be Najin. Gawi Nawia, Uka, 
Panes Konasin. Ki Kituak, Ki Konentas Moses, Kaki Onche, Ina Konikech, Nape, Chiminach, Wepinito, we must nay, he can nest. We chiwak and then chiwap and Jesus, so can a question. Moses, kiki pak kitten nako wa. Chiwap nayak. We chiwak and wa. Anishaki. Pinchisha she pintamek. Shagochka we know who I want to. This is this known. This time, match, match sick. Get this showing the moment in our hour, then get wet, get wet, and again. Which walk on then? A watch dash, good again, Vishikwatasi. Muhuana ikitone, Sakuchi kwenwa keta, Kapi miniko, Kapi miniko swatch, Anda awiak, Anda ayawak na bewak, Eka eki, Unichan swatch, Anispiko, Eki isinita wiki watch. Mina ayawak kutakiak, ihiwa pekokaki, ishina ko hikuach awian. Mina ayawak kainan damuach, eka chuik tuach, nawashme, chikiano ka damuach, kishaman doi, utik tuni. Awia, Kekash kitu kwen chiyo tap nank mukha tap nan the word of the Lord. That was a Dominic Beauty reading in our language. And I thank I thank him for. Uh, uh, reading, and uh, we are very um, inspired and very happy to have a, a youth doing a translation for us uh, in our language. The, the Gospel that he read, Matthew chapter 19, verses 3 to 12, is the Gospel of the day. And um, this talks about uh, what Jesus said about uh, divorce and marriage. And during Jesus' time, when he was here on earth, ministering to many people, he, um, he did a lot of work. And many people followed him, literally follow, followed him everywhere he went to listen to his teaching and uh, oftentimes there were so many people and oftentimes he faced challenges challenging questions and it in, in one of these in one of these teachings some Pharisees came to him to test him they asked, is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any and every reason? 
That was the question they asked him. Pharisees were uh, always um, following and checking upon Jesus, looking for uh, ways to uh, to bring him down or to uh, discredit his teachings or his words. When Jesus was asked, he, he, this is what he said to them. Haven't you read, he replied, that at the beginning, the Creator made them male and female, and said, For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let man not separate. Jesus. When to separate. We hear these words at a marriage ceremony in the church service. We listen to the man and woman exchange vows, how they will live together as man and wife and be united to one another. And um, they, they become one, they become one flesh. In the ceremony, in the marriage ceremony, the priest, minister, will take his or her stole and tie the hands of the man and woman to be married. And he says this, therefore, what God has joined together, let man not separate. In this day and age, we have many challenges with our lives, with our families, with our, with our marriages, with our work, with our health. Every day we face a challenge. And it is at this time, during these times, that we must commit ourselves to the Lord at the beginning of each new day that He gives us. We give ourselves in prayer to our Lord, giving Him our lives that He would lead us for that day, that whatever we will be doing that day, whether going to work or spending time with family, that God, our Creator, 
will be the leader, will be our, our leader in whatever we do. In that we acknowledge Him in all that we do. No one can get his God now at Anaman. Get his God in that. He may be the best guy on that. Let's come get down with Simon. Now the men are not so much so now. Now the men are getting happy on that. Now the people go to the phone. Ah, who saw him get in that? Who was so quick? Me said so. We got the Anaman to work. Man to. To me, I put my son on the switcher. We do it for more than my work. We do it again if the work. The switcher. If the show by work, it won't scare you. To you, it's to get you. To me, I have to go to my dog with my son on. To me, I can't get to my work. You have to go to my work. I need to go to my work. During this season of our uh, of, uh, anxiety, uncertainty due to COVID-19 virus. We do not know what each day will bring. And we can only trust in the Lord that He would protect us, that He would be with us. We have not been able to do our ministries as we would normally do. But praise God, He has provided a way for us to minister to one another beyond what we have always done or expected. For instance, what we are doing now, sharing our songs, sharing God's Word, through social me media. God has provided a way for us to spread his word, for people to hear his word. Because God loves every one of us. He does not want us to perish, but wants everyone to have eternal life. And that is why he sent his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for us so that we might have life. That is God's love and God's gift to us. Manto kzagi wanad. Me God's akuson epapaya miyamagak. Kaor miyamagak kitota min aniga kapitota mak. Kapitota mak. Eya yaka Egagi mamu skai kaya, jadi mamu anak kamu jat mamu yang skai mantu atas sago join. Oki untuk nan, atau nak tu nan jadi kau tu. Kau itu magi ak mantu tak kau tuan, kau tu itu magi ak mantu sago join, mina rumah join. Mantu ak sago itu nan, bagi pilihan soal nan aku apa sebenarnya, aku susah. Egi na pinutas diya to gina unton sa pamatsong siyayak kagib matsong. Egi na doon mukiyak so natsong siyayak. So let us give thanks to our Creator, our Lord, for His continued blessings, for His endless mercies. And let us acknowledge Him and give thanks to Him for His love, for his mercy. Amen. Let us pray. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for your love, your endless mercies, Lord. We ask you, Lord, that you would continue to be amongst us, to be our lead in everything that we do, say, and think. O David, again, we saw in him snan. Me know we could imagine him snan. Mina wika na na magdoska at simnan at mina doas simnan. Mina dosih keo na na Lord. Mina o ito ni ganit tamagyam na na kjebrog mam na na wisa wena. Mina o imisga na na sa tsapot. Awas si mga twisti ka na ba. Kuz at siya ni ganit tamagyam na na. Lord, we pray that you would keep safe our youth and children everywhere. 
and also our communities. We pray for our Archbishop Paul, that you would continue to pour, pour your blessings upon him and his family, Lord. And every one of us, Lord, we commit ourselves to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello. We're 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 on live again. Uh, if you want, if you want, if we want prayers, if people want to submit a prayer request, I have a couple of numbers to phone in or text. Uh, two eight nine eight. Zero one seven eight, or you can call and leave a message. Tool free. It's a tool free number. One eight three three nine eight two one two. Those are numbers for prayer requests. I'm pretty sure that screen. Uh, uh, those are the numbers to phone. Bless Holy Scriptures to be written for our learning. Grant that we may be in such wise, hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that by patience and comfort of thy holy word, we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life which thou hast given us in our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we will listen to the singers from Alaska, Kivalina Singers. That's our next song from Alaska. <laughs>
And a lot of us are blessed by things he has given us. And one of the things that we do is we, uh, we thank him. And uh, therefore, by him let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of our lips, our lips, eh? giving thanks to his name. But do not forget to do good and to share. For, with, for which such sacrifice God is well pleased. Because he gives us everything, eh? and then he, he just wants us to share uh, what we have with other people. That's, that's being generous. Generosity is uh, it's the only thing God wants us to show our love to him, how we love him. And it's by loving other people and blessing other people. And one of the ways we bless people is that uh, we, we give what we have. Just like that uh, lady, she gave all she had, eh? even though she just had a mite, that's all she had, but she gave it, she gave it with, um, uh, she just gave it without uh, wanting anything back. And that's, to me, a generosity. to be back uh physical stuff i uh we're going to be uh uh looking at uh another video or a poster greeting from uh bishop don phillips and jenny saunders but I want to thank uh the reverend uh, uh and the latin uh uh, talking about generosity. Kuma Richard Beer, Egi Muskota, Ka Ega Ega Nanto, Gentama, a bucket together, a week is tire, I am a how, and Ego de Gisha Miskota, Ego Kaisha Pakit Negea, Koese Kaisha Pakit Uda to Skewen, Ego Magagi Miskota. Maga got taken up a cigar to go a a a watch him go out, or just make him out, Don Phillips. I go, it's called Jenny Saunders. Okay, we're on a poster. We are happy to greet our relatives all across the land, and we are not too far from Gichigami, um, otherwise known as Lake Superior. We're in Onagami, same otherwise known as Duluth, Minnesota. And I'm Mark McDonald. This is Jeff Fifield, and we're thankful for the opportunity to bring a song to you. The song we're going to sing is called Brian's Testimony, and it uh, stems from um, a young Ojibwe man that we met in Aberdeen, South Dakota, a number of years ago. Uh, he, Brian Duhame is a Christian singer, songwriter, musician, and wrote this song about the night he encountered Christ. 
And we've been singing it for a number of years, and we'd like to share it with you tonight. We'd also like to point out that Brian is Ojibwe. Uh, we believe originally from Minnesota. Yeah. This is Brian's testimony. In a darkened room one night, nothing in my soul was right. His gentle hand within took away all my sins and cast them far away from me. Oh, a peace and a soul's release I felt the night I called out to Jesus, the Savior of my soul. Times of trial and deep despair, I can sense his gentle care, his hand of comfort reaching out to me. Though I have failed in many things, still to my side he clings, never turning from my knees. And his soul's release I felt the night I called out to Jesus, the Savior of my soul. Now I am waiting for that day when he takes his own away to dwell in his presence evermore. And a soul's relief you'll feel. So call out to Jesus, the Savior of your soul. Our next two pictures are from Bishop Don Phillips, who is sending his love from Winnipeg, Manitoba. He sends warm greetings to all of the indigenous folk gathered tonight and wishes he could be with them. We also have a picture from Jenny Saunders, who again has a big smile on, and is sending love from the unceded territory of the Taco Dean Nation. Yeah, uh, good good evening. Now yeah, we're back here live on uh, on the Anglican Church of Canada Gospel Jamboree. I go. Gagin do to I hook. Gagin like about Brian's testimony. I got a Kiwi to talk about Kitchen Megan about Mark McDonald. I got Jam Jeff Finfield. I got a good book. I got a good book down. I got a good book about Don Phillips. I got a good book about when a poster got to got a good Saunders. Now I want to introduce uh, Brander Raven McDonald. He on the video Time of Souls. We will now see a video uh, Brander Raven McDonald. Don't you cry, my baby child, your mother holds you tight She sings for you, there's a lullaby that keeps you warm at night With loving arms and tender hands, she guides you through this land 
Across the golden fields of life I'm growing to understand That the time of souls is now at hand That the time of souls is now at hand Can you hear the drum beat? A heartbeat like your own It calls you to a better place It calls you way back home And with each beating rhythm It stirs the heart to sing Of the time you came to be a warrior For your country and for king That the time of souls must begin That the time of souls must begin Tantse watche do tema kaldu tame utame sues kame Canada komene dono ne epetago me sues kame kuma aski en tus chigate That was such a beautiful song Time of Souls by uh by uh Brander Raven McDonald the Now I want to introduce uh, a song uh, that Austin Thomas, Austin Thomas wrote this song uh, from Alaska. Kichimuhu Malaski, Egute Aski Ichigate Alaska, Mawutute Nagabe Hanokiwet Nutehe, Utakashi Ayaski, Egute Uschi Awa, Kanekamut. Calvina Singers. So, uh, yeah. in his spring, the man came in up to heaven. And when they reached there, he see mansions 
that Jesus prepared for everyone. It's like that verse, that chapter, what he found. When he looked towards God as far as he can see on all sides, the four corners, the winds, the north, north, south, west, and east, as far as you can see, that man says. And that man said behind him, I prepare mansions for everyone in the world, but they will refuse their own mansions if they did not accept me. I prepare mansions. And he said some of the mansions are real pretty. So beautiful to look at. And then he said, he, he asked that man behind him, some of the mansions are so beautiful to look at, and there's golden street between them, between the mansions. He said, those mansions, what you see, that are so beautiful to look at. Therefore, teachers, please, deacons, teachers, whoever, save souls. They said, that's how can we do it? <coughs> They become when they see so. So it's important for us to go to church to hear our preachers preach from the Bible. Teachers that teach from the Bible, it's important for us to go listen to them. Then they are telling us, of course, I tell you what. I keep wanting to mention too, this one right here, my daughter. That's Annie Lena. She's a bastard. The first two guys I would say, two singers could have take two seats. Don't you? I take it. If you get to Shikurat, you have to join the uh, choirs in Shikurat and sing. That's what it means. Tell me you have to go see. First time she's singing. <laughs> <laughs> oh,
Our next two greeting posters are from Vanessa Rodner, who lives in Toronto, and Alan Hayes, who is from the Upper Canada Treaty 14, Queen and Mississaugas of the Credit. We're going to listen to uh, uh, Old Creator by uh, William Philip Lincoln Jr. with Maddie. So it's our next video that we'll be watching. Wait, just l let me... Hi everybody, this is Maddie. Say hi Maddie. Say hi on here. Hello. No, you can say talk on there. Say hi. Hi. Okay, we're gonna sing O Creator. Okay. But let this play first. Yeah. Right. 
Amen. God bless you. Say bye. Say bye, everybody. Say au revoir. Au revoir. Right here. I've got to talk to the mic. I can't hear you. Au revoir. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Uh, watch it, dance it. Do it, Emma. We're coming to you live on uh, Anglican Church of Canada. .ca Gospel Jam. I I have been to many Gospel Jam and and it is Gospel Jam race where many people gather uh, early in the evening, sometimes all afternoon, and goes to midnight. Somehow go go beyond into the morning. So that's how gospel jamborees are in the communities. And there is a lot of talent out there, a lot of talented, especially the elders and the youth, very talented when they sing uh, gospel songs in the languages, many languages in Canada uh, that our people sing their, their songs, uh, their gospel songs. Anyway, I just want to make an announcement. And uh, I want everybody to pull out your calendars, uh, your pants or your iPhones, iPads, your calendars, September 19th, 2020, 2020, I should, 2020, September 19th, that's seven o'clock in the evening, Central Standard Time. Uh, that's our next Gospel Jamboree. It'll be again uh, live streaming on Wawate, uh, NCI Radio, uh, also live on uh, on Anglican Church of Canada Dutch, uh, Gospel Jam. So uh, mark that on your calendars and hope that you can join us. Uh, before I before I sign off, and I want to I want to uh, pass it on to. Uh, a good friend of mine in Kingfisher Lake. I want to say this prayer. It's a prayer for the church. It's, it's a prayer for the church of Christ. God of unchangeable power and eternal light, look favorably upon thy whole church, that wonderful and sacred mystery. And by the tranquil operation of thy perpetual providence, carry out the work of man's salvation. That things which are cast down may be raised up, and that our things, things may return in unity to him by whom all things were made, even thy son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Don't forget to send in your prayer requests for for your family, for you. Don't forget that. The numbers are on the screen. Now, I want to introduce uh, Sheba McKay. Sheba is from Kingfisher Lake, Ontario. That's the, the home of the Bishop uh, Lydia Mamakwe, and that's uh, the, the community where the Office of uh, Indigenous Spiritual Ministry of Mishamakush, and that's where Sheba McKay. She was also uh, a tri-chair of the Anglican Council of Indigenous People, very involved in a church. So, good evening, Siva, and my prayers are with you. Ego se. Thank you.
Okay, is, it, is anybody on Sheba's phone? Hello? Hello? Me. How was that?
Sorry. Let's know. Hi there, sorry. Hello, everybody. I think we had what uh, we used to call back in uh, television days technical difficulties. And uh, I want to remind you that in the world to come, there are no technical difficulties. So this is a, a reminder of the joy of that world to come. We're really happy uh, uh, to be back with you uh, in, the, in this healing river that is flowing from our worship and uh, it's a, a very important thing to understand that our uh, worship does not depend upon uh, the, uh, the, the the quality of our, um, our, 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 our video the quality of anything that we do what it but it really depends upon is the quality of our hearts. And that's uh, what we're uh, trying to emphasize here. Um, I want to um, uh, thank Shiva and Kingfisher Lake. We, we've had a, a few troubles getting a hold of them. I think we might go back to them a little bit later. Um, I think that what we want to, to, to do is to introduce a very special thing, an important thing, uh, uh, something that is absolutely essential to healing, and that is that when something is bad has happened, when someone has hurt someone, that that hurt be acknowledged, and that healing words happen. This is absolutely necessary both for the people that are hurt and for the people that hurt them. We have had such a healing moment, and we are in the midst of one now. And we're going to go to a, a healing prayer piece. Uh, I, I, I know that you will be blessed and moved by it. Uh, so we'll go to that right now. I, it looks like I'm still here. Here and, uh, am I got to thee, nearer to thee. In the way be a cross that raiseth me. Still all my song shall be Darkness 
Tonight, tonight, we're gonna make it right. Tonight, tonight, we're gonna let it go. Gonna let the river flow. Tonight, tonight, we're gonna make it right. Tonight, tonight, we're gonna let it go. Gonna let the river flow. I need a miracle. I need power. I need glory. I need mercy. Got to let the river flow. I need a miracle. I need power. I need glory. I need mercy. I've got to let the river flow. Tonight, tonight, we're gonna let it flow. Tonight, tonight, we're gonna let things go. Gonna let the river flow. Tonight, tonight, we're gonna let it flow. Tonight, tonight, we're gonna let things go. Gonna let the river flow. I need a miracle, I need power. I need glory, I need mercy. Gonna let the river flow. I need a miracle, I need power. I need glory, I need mercy. Got to let the river flow Tonight, tonight, I'm gonna make it right Tonight, tonight, I'm gonna let things go Gonna let the river flow Tonight, tonight, I'm gonna make it right Tonight, tonight, we're gonna make it Gonna let the river flow I need a miracle, I need power, I need glory, I need mercy, gonna let the river flow. I need a miracle, I need power, I need glory, I need mercy, gonna let the river flow. We need a miracle, we need power, we need glory, we need mercy. Gonna let the river flow. We need a miracle, we need power, we need glory, we need mercy. We're gonna let the river flow. Tonight, tonight, we're gonna make it happen. Tonight, tonight, we're gonna let it go. Gonna let the river flow. Tonight, tonight, we're gonna make it happen. Tonight, tonight, we're gonna let it go. Gonna let the river flow. I need a miracle, I need power. I need glory, I need mercy. Gonna let the river flow. I need a miracle, I need power. I need glory, I need mercy. Gonna let the river flow one more time. I need a miracle, I need power, I need glory, I need mercy. Gonna let the river flow. I need a miracle, I need power, I need glory, I need mercy. Gonna let the river flow. Amen. God bless you. 
Well, thank you very much. I want to say, especially for those who are listening on Wawate, that we had a series of uh, very moving images as we remembered some people who are very important to us. Uh, the, the Reverend Canon Norm Casey, the, the Reverend Margaret Waterchief, and I should say she died of COVID-19. Malcolm Nea Chan, who was, who was from Hawaii and a, a dear part of our sacred circles. Alfred Mercer, who also had a huge impact on our uh, sacred circles. And uh, beloved uh, Thelma uh, Mead. And uh, 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 we saw images of them. Uh, and we remember them, we commend their souls to God, and may their day, their rest of this day be in peace. We also are very grateful for a beautiful song from Willard uh, Philip Lincoln, uh, William, Will, Willard Philip Lincoln Jr. Uh, singing, as you probably noticed, Let the River Flow, a very important, uh, very important uh, thing for us. Now, uh, continuing on, uh, we've uh, reminded you that we've had trouble connecting with uh, 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 Kingfisher Lake, but uh, we're continuing on um, and uh, continuing in prayer. Uh, we may be uh, a little, a little, a little bit disconnected at this point in uh, a digital way, but we are connected spiritually, and uh, we want to remind you. Uh, to call in your prayers and uh, uh, to let us know what it is that you would like us to intercede for tonight as we're, as we're, as we're gathering here together in worship and praise. Now, um, we're going to uh, have a poster greeting at this time, I believe, uh, from Sandra Fox and the Reverend Canon Norm Wesley. Our next two greetings are from Sandra Fox, who is originally from Kitchenumei Kusib, Inuwig, but living in Thunder Bay. And the Reverend Canon Norm Wesley, who is an ASIP tri chair from Moose Factory, Ontario, Moose Cree First Nation. I am sorry, more than I can say, that we were part of a system which took you and your children from home and family. On behalf of this gathering, we acknowledge and accept the apology that the Primate has offered on behalf of the Anglican Church of Canada. It was offered from his heart with sincerity, sensitivity, compassion, and humility. I offer this apology of our cultural and spiritual arrogance toward all Indigenous peoples, First Nations, Inuit, and Métis. We, the Indigenous Elders of General Synod 2019, humbly receive the apology for spiritual harm containing the Church commitment 
or spiritual healing. The church has a lot of work to do, and we are trying to travel the same river of life in canoes side by side, supporting one another and caring for one another in that journey. We are uh, Jeff Fifield and Mark McDonald, and it is our great pleasure to bring to this healing event where we ask God's Holy Spirit to come upon us in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name. Well, we're, we're back with you, and uh, we have um, uh, a couple of uh, wonderful things to share with you. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is uh, uh, healing hearts, and I think that we're ready to go to that right away. One more short one. Um, it's not a, a
We have had another two pictures sent in. The first is from Melanie Delver, who is the reconciliation animator for the Anglican Church of Canada. She's outside with the sun shining and with a fantastic view of the mountains behind her. The second is from the Reverend Canon Murray Still, who has also sent in a short recorded message. On behalf of the Anglican Council of Indigenous People, I want to welcome you all to this Gospel Jamboree. It's our third national online event and you can count on an enjoyable evening of sharing. The Gospel Jamboree is a key part of Indigenous life at our sacred circles. By participating, you can get a unique look into the Indigenous way of life. Bless you all, and join us at future such gatherings when you can. All right, uh, dear friends, this is Mark McDonald again. You know, um, I have a Navajo friend who says whenever you're doing something really great, the greatness of it can be measured in the kind of obstacles that come in your way. And I would say we're, we're doing something colossal. Um, we have had some amazing uh, obstacles, including where I am, all of a sudden our power went out. That was very, very strange. But in the midst of all this, I know that some of you were able to enjoy and be blessed by an offering from the territory of the people uh, out in uh, British Columbia. And uh, th this was uh, led by uh, Ernie and Pauline Mitchell, 
who are uh, pastoral elders for the territory of the people. And that was their very powerful offering, uh, Healing Hearts. And we're very, very happy for that. So um, uh, I think that um, we are, are going to uh, transition uh, because of some of the technical difficulties, we're going to transition into the last part, which is uh, healing prayer. But we still have some very important offerings for you. And the next one that we have coming up is from Rob and Ruth Sweet, which is uh, Jesus is Lord. Greetings to our friends in the Diocese of Saskatchewan. And the Diocese of Caledonia. Greetings to our friends in the Diocese of Saskatchewan. And the Diocese of Caledonia. You guys are just let me know. Your mother tried to call right in the midst of you. Go, Mark. Okay. We just want to say, Nakumik, Masi Cho, Megrich. Uh, uh, to all of those who have submitted things. We want to say a special 
uh, thanks uh, to all of our uh, people be working behind the scenes. Boy, this has been a, a difficult one, and we just want to know, want you to know how much how much we love you. We're entering into a time of special prayer. We believe that despite all the technical difficulties, um, the spiritual significance of what we're doing has not decreased at all. In fact, uh, we believe uh, it has increased. We are in a situation where we are uh, combating all sorts of difficulties and trials. We have uh, things that happen like this and live face-to-face uh, uh, -face, uh, gospel jams as well. Um, so we're not, we're not, uh, we're not surprised and we are not at all uh, 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 hindered uh, in what we wish to do because we are about to enter into a, a, a greater sense of the presence of God, a greater awareness of God's presence in creation, a greater awareness of the power of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the love which is a, a found in them, the sacrificial love which makes their life what it is. As we are praying, um, uh, everyone, uh, we ask everyone to join with us, but we want to remind you that you can share prayers and we will be praying for them as, as, we, as we move along. Um, but the, the, I want to remind you that if you're interested in sharing prayers, uh, text 289 Five four eight zero one seven eight, or you can leave a message toll free one eight three three nine eight two one two seven six. Now, I want you to um, uh, join with me uh, in a uh, time of prayer. Um, this uh, prayer is what we might call an intercession. Uh, joining together from coast to coast, and we are certain that we have people overseas who are joining us. We are certain that we have people uh, from Alaska joining us. We are certain that we have people uh, from uh, the United States joining us. We have uh, uh, people and elders all across uh, Northern Ontario through Wabate Radio. And uh, we are so very grateful that as we um, enter into this uh, spiritual time, into this time of worship and prayer, into this time of the awareness of the power and goodness that God has done, that all of us will join together, that we will agree together across the land for uh, God's, uh, God's and, and, and intercede for God's help and strength. Um, I don't need to tell the people who are listening in the challenges that, that we have in this world today. I don't need to tell anybody that challenges that existed before we were facing a plague, but today that has added a special and heavy burden. Nevertheless, we are still capable of coming together and expressing our hope and our faith and our confidence that the God who has called us into life has not abandoned us. And that even in the midst of such things, we might find God's grace and goodness. So I ask you to join with me in your mind and in your heart as we offer a prayer for the healing of the land. Almighty God, Ishi Manado, take credit. We want to offer our prayers, our thanks, as we come into your presence through the name of Jesus. We understand that we are always in your presence. But in this moment and in this time, we wish to come through the name of the living word of God. 
the, the structure and power of life that has given life, that has carried our elders throughout the ages, that has taught our people to dance, the light of, of, of the hope in, in young people and the wisdom and love of elders, all of these things are part of the living word of God. And the legacy of the living word of God in life. We rejoice, O oh God, in these things that you have given to us. And now we stand in the revelation of your uh, goodness and power uh, through the good news of Jesus Christ. This news is not, not, that, not that we have suddenly come into your presence, but that we have always been in your presence and you have walked with us over the years. Today, we speak from a special spiritual vantage point. God, we are not only in a place of great need, we are also in a place of great blessing. And it's hard for us to understand how these things work together, but we know that in you, it will. And so we, uh, we have, have strength in our weakness just as you showed strength in the weakness of the cross. We come into your presence now uh, pleading for the land. We are not just pleading for leaders, although we certainly do that. We are pleading, pleading for the land, suffering as it is from our foolishness and our greed. We pray that as you forgive us as we offer this prayer of, 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 of uh, uh, begging you for forgiveness. We pray that as you forgive us, you would heal the land of our foolishness. And that that foolishness would not only be what we have done to scar it and its capacity for life, but in the ways in which we have uh, restructured the land away from its original uh, spiritual authority in the people of the land. We are asking God for you to create both justice and peace on the land. And we pray that today all of our leaders, indigenous and non-indigenous, would find a way to move forward that would bring justice and peace and that it would bring hope uh, to the people. We are begging you, God, for a land that is suffering. And we see that suffering in the suicide rates of our children. We see that suffering in our elders who are, are struggling with this pandemic, uh, who have been struggling with poverty and discrimination for so many years. God, we, we are praying for a healing of minds and hearts, and that in the place of despair and weariness, that you would give hope. We pray for those who are working to achieve this. Um, in, we remember, especially in the, east, the western part of our, of our, of our lands, uh, in the Yukon territories especially, we pray for indigenous people seeking self-determination in so many ways, but uh, we also ask you, God, not to forget us who seek self-determination in the indigenous church. We beg you for those who, of our young people who are in particular danger and vulnerability during this time. We remember those who are out on the land. They are reaffirming what you have given to them and the power and the glory of it. We pray that you would touch them. We remember those who are sick. Um, and uh, we uh, want to uh, pray especially today for Peter. And uh, we remember his wife, Ruth, walking with him. May you touch him and heal him. Uh, Willard and Carolyn have also asked for, for healing. People have asked for those who are suffering from addictions. 
God of mercy, God of power. In their weakness, may you show them your strength. Uh, in their doubt and, and fear, may you show them love and confidence. Be with them. We pray for the Florence family, asking for your grace to be especially with them. And we pray also for Reverend Martha Spence, beloved to so many of us, as she faces heart difficulties. Um, we are remembering also our uh, dear brother and sister, uh, Barry Bear, and Frida, uh, his, his wife uh, of, of, of Pegasus First Nation. May you touch their, uh, their, their life and their bodies and bring them healing and strength. Um, we want to give thanks as we pray for uh, the leadership of our churches across the land. Uh, we remember those who are ordained, but we want to offer a special prayer of strength for those who aren't ordained who act as elders among us and give hope to the people and lead the people in a good way. We are asking you, God, to continue to watch over the leadership of ASIP, of the other leaders in our communities, our leadership circle, which represents so many parts of the land, we remember our various uh, dioceses from BC to the Arctic and uh, um, for, for the indigenous spiritual ministry of Mashamakwish, uh, all of these things for our urban ministries, uh, uh, struggling under the weight of the pandemic. Uh, we ask that you would watch over them. And we remember in, in a special way, uh, the, um, the Toronto Urban Native Ministry uh, we remember especially uh, Epiphany Church in Winnipeg. Uh, we pray for all of those. Now, as, as we have lifted up these people. We are uh, praying for a, 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 a change in, in their physical uh, uh, capacity and uh, in their physical wellness. But we are also praying for a uh, a spiritual change, uh, a, a, a change in those uh, beings that we often refer to as principalities and powers. Uh, we believe, God, that you, in the strength of your weakness, in the strength of your cross, that you have overcome all that is evil and that this victory is something that is being felt wherever justice is 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 is, is experienced and and becomes real. Wherever hope becomes real, wherever love becomes real, wherever healing becomes real. In these ways, we we taste your healing power. You have asked us to worship, and in that worship to activate, to bring to life, to open the floodgates of the healing river. And we pray that that would, would be so. You know how much we need it. You know how important it is that there be some kind of renewal of the people in their spiritual life. As we're praying for, for, for all of our people and all of our churches, we are mindful of all of the people, all of the communities, the spiritual leaders of, of the, in the traditional way, the spiritual leaders in the Pentecostal way, the Roman Catholics, the United Church, the Presbyterian Church, uh, the other churches which uh, serve you uh, in, among indigenous people. May you, your healing power, be active and alive in them. We pray that everyone who, who has, has been touched by this time together would also touch someone else. And that just as that river uh, blessed and, and brought life wherever it went, 
uh, in, in, in the prophecy of Ezekiel, so in the same way that your river of life would touch people's minds and hearts. Now, we also wish to send in a, a very different kind of healing place, and that is in regards to those who have passed away. There are many um, in this time who have passed away in the midst of despair. And we know that their souls, as they make a transition from this life to the spiritual life that stands in waiting for the world that is to come. We, we pray as, a, that as they make that very difficult transition uh, made, made difficult because of what is happening today, that you would be with them and walk with them, that they uh, could uh, see your outreach hand, the uh, outreach hand of your son Jesus, and that they would grab that and move into that place of peace, which is your will for all people. Um, God, we are pray praying for many people who have died without a human touch. Uh, because of this pandemic. We are praying for many people who died without their loved ones by their bedside for any kind of spiritual help. Uh, this, is, this is not good, and we, we pray, God, that you would help us to find a way that this, that this not be so. But in the meantime, we want to pray for those who have passed in such a way we remember also those who are confused by the, the pain of their passing, the ones who have uh, 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 harmed themselves or hurt themselves, or the ones who have been hurt by others, or the ones who have been overcome by drugs or alcohol. Uh, we pray that uh, there might be peace. We pray for peace in the uh, heavenly realm, uh, not speaking of sky here, but of that spiritual life that surrounds us. As, as we offer these prayers, we pray for the awareness and, and, and uh, of, of, of life of, of, all, of our, all of our people listening and those who will be touched by this. And we offer them up to you. We, again, um, God, we, we are not offering them in our own strength. We are offering them to the vehicle of the love of your son, Jesus. And we trust that in the power of the spirit, uh, he carries our feeble prayers and wishes with the strength into the love of your heart. And so uh, may that sacrificial love, which led you to, to, to sacrifice all for us, uh, help us, to find a new way of life in which we sacrifice for each other. We pray for our families. We pray for our loved ones. We especially pray for those who are struggling in this time. Watch over them and strengthen them. We thank you for, again, for all who have contributed to this time. And we look forward, God, to this time again. We, we are aware that uh, your, your son Jesus might return to us uh, in the future and um, in, in between now and then. Um, and that would be a good thing. That would be a good thing. But if not, we, we pray that we would not only be ready, but that we would be working uh, towards that day. And we pray, God, for your uh, uh, strength to, to carry us through until we're able to gather again uh, on September 19th. So all these things, th things are yours. Uh, we are yours. Uh, we, we pray that you bless us. And we offer all these things. Dike Volji, Jesus. Odish and Kazwin, Jesus. The Benjigade. And we, uh, in the name of Jesus, we offer this healing prayer up to you. And we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Let it be completed in beauty. Amen. Amen. 
So um, we are uh, we went a little bit farther with that prayer than I thought we would, but uh, we are close to the end. We want to remind you that uh, coming up uh, tomorrow night, uh, this will be rebroadcast on NCI. It'll be at seven o'clock Central Time. But September nineteenth, uh, we are going to have a uh, 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 another gospel jam. It'll be seven o'clock. Uh, 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 Eastern Time, and uh, we look forward to, to having you there. Don't for, forget us. Uh, keep the prayers. We'll keep praying. We'll keep looking, and we thank you all for, for being with us. I think that's about all the time we have. Um, we, we pray that the healing may continue. Uh, uh, Origin, Cosmo, and Jesus, to in the name of Jesus. Amen.